Hello YouTube, this is Charlie 426 and today we have the review of the Mobility Joint Gundam figure series uh, as well. So this is the third series according to uh, the box. This is the Rezel. Now you might be wondering why there are two boxes in front of you. Now I would like to clarify this multiple times. Uh, just like the G-Frame series, you need to buy two uh, two boxes in order to complete what you want to get. So number one, so you want the Rezel. So there's two boxes here. You might see one has the Rezel and one has the Rezel Commander type. So just because you bought this, you don't get the Rezel Commander type. You get the parts necessary to modify the regular Rezel, Rezel to make it into the Commander type. So which is why there are two boxes. So I'm going to go, e go over each boxes and then I'll go over the details of the completed figures. So I hope this doesn't you know confuse you because in at least in Gundam Base what they do is that so there isn't any leftovers like um, what they do is that they actually uh, tape they tape these two boxes together and sell sell them as a set so there isn't any unnecessary leftover or non-selling you know uh, figure so once again uh, and keep in mind they the problem is for the price tag they only mention uh, the price tag like per box so for example if let's say it, each box costs like five or eight dollars like okay let's just put, put eight dollars uh, but if it's like this you're paying sixteen dollars but on the price tag it would be like this and it's it's mentioned as eight dollars which might be confusing so if you're if your country or if your Gundam base does that make sure to calculate the prices so if you're buying two sets that's four boxes and that becomes like thirty two dollars so don't make that mistake that which I almost made all right, so we'll, we'll start with the left box. So the left box, this only comes with the main fr main inner frame and then the outer parts to make the Rezel. That is literally what you get, meaning you don't get any weapons, no shield, no beam rifle, only the fi only the parts to complete the regular Rezel itself. So let's see what we get. So here we get the parts. So believe it or not, be despite being a very small figure, they give you a, a huge sticker sheet. Now keep in mind, I, de I decided not to use any, not all of the stickers or most of the stickers. So some parts, if I can color, I am going to color them. But some parts like, that are gray, I feel like some of them there were, were kind of unnecessary. Now another thing I should mention is that this thing does not come with a separate ins instruction manual. You need to scan this QR code, and then it'll let you either download or go to the website, uh, and then show the instruction manual. But keep in mind. If you open the instruction manual, it's not only for the Rezo, it's going to come, it's going to have all the instruction manual for the series. So for volume for the series number three, uh, it will have all of these four <laughs> instruction manuals. So make sure you to scroll down and check for this guys. Now I would like to get the Rezo type C someday if, if there is a chance, but yeah. All right, for the left box, as I mentioned, you will only get the parts necessary to, to complete the regular Rezo. And with no weapon. So once again, you do get a sticker sheet. Once again, I'm not going to use or show all the stickers necessary because and there's a lot. <laughs> so here is the main, main inner frame. So I believe this is the main inner frame that all the units use as, as a common base here. So let's see what we got for the inner frame only. So uh, let's start with the top. So the top seems like it connects using a ball joint for the head. That's you know pretty typical. We have the arms that are connected to ball joints. So three twists is possible. Seeing that there is no bottom section, it seems like it's going to rely on the ball joint for arm articulation. And looking at the inside, there is no, there is a little bit of a wiggle of a short forward and backward shoulder movement. But you can go also go up all the way up. So of course, this is just for the inner frame. Let's, I would assume if this, uh, if you attach all the parts, it wouldn't go as far like that. Seems that with the holes, we're gonna attach the chest part here and backpack here as well. And then the main body, so there's no ab crunch, but it can rotate, that's pretty good, pretty good. And then it can go side to side, that's also pretty good for what it is. And looking at the legs here, um, yeah, it seems like uh, there is only the side joint here, so I'm assuming it's going to rely on a bowl joint for the lower leg for the articulation as well. And going to the side should be possible as well, well uh, almost 90 degrees, so yeah. So I would say this is a pretty solid inner frame uh, piece. And then here we have the head. So once again, there are some parts that you need to assemble. The visor, once again, is a sticker. Uh, so any other colored stuff are stickers. So this white part at least is a separate piece. So there are some pieces that you do need to uh, assemble, like the head, uh, the legs, you need to assemble on your own as well. So there are like, I think it uses like three to four parts roughly. So yeah. And once again, I tried to color most white parts that require the sticker. So yeah, yeah some parts may look a little bit messy, but I did my best. 
Uh, here we have the backpack going on here. So it seems like considering the modification to Rezo Commander type, they use ball joints for these sides as well. So pretty well done. Uh, no big deal there and then here we have the chest piece that white piece is a, that has been like that already so i did not color that so pretty solid chest piece although i think it's missing some colors here on the chest part i believe uh depending on if it's the commander type or the regular it should have red or green cameras here we have the back skirt uh and then here we have the shoulder parts for left and right so once again you have to use stickers for these parts and these white areas you need to use a sticker but i decided to color them as well now these parts are also kind of tricky so, uh, i'll get into that later for the regional commander type uh here we have the front skirt so believe it or not they do actually give you a separate you do have the option to snap the middle into making a making it into a articulate ball jointed uh front front skirt so and here we have the front part as well so uh this v uh, the v symbol on the crotch area I, I did use the sticker because it was very way too small to color here we have the side skirts i do call it, these are side skirts but they literally just like just clip on to the uh, leg area so kind of interesting and here we have the arms now these white sections i did use the stickers because they look simple enough and i don't think it's really necessary to color these all right so that's that so that was the left box now to sh show you guys the right box here so the biggest difference you should check is that this one has mo that one has ex so the mo i would assume is for mobility so or the so th this is the part that has the mainframe has the basics to complete the unit so EX, I would assume this is like uh, extra, extra stuff. So this part, this box only comes with the stuff to make it into the Rezo Commander, not the actual Commander type. So once again, you do get some stickers, uh, no big deal. Uh, so let's start with the piece weapon. So you do get the beam, you do get a beam saber, pretty cool. This is a single molded, so you can separate this. This is all colored up. Uh, you do get the two rifles, so the, you get the Commander beam cannon and the beam rifle, but that's pretty good as well. You do get the uh, all the necessary joints to connect this, even the scope. Now that is a sticker I did apply. Uh, you do get the Rezo shield, very nice as well. Uh, now technically you can connect this right away to the arm, but if you want to have it onto the side arm, onto the side, this is the joint you use if, if you want to do so. Now you do get the back wings. These are, you do need to assemble these and the wings do move a little bit. And I'm pretty sure you have to use some stickers, but I'm just gonna go with it as raw. And then here we have the head or face. So the only difference is the visor color. So what they did is that they added only the inner frame or the inner parts of the head so you can you have to swap out. All right. And then here we have the shoulder joint. So this only they only give you the front part. So once again, I'm going to have to color these parts again, but still, yeah, pretty cool. And these are stickers I already did apply. All right. So we see the basics of the components. So I'll be right back with the finished Rezil and then we'll check the Rezil commander type. So I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. So here we have the Rezil completed. So here is the most basic part. This is what you literally get from the first box uh, that can complete the, the literally the base Rezil right over here. So this is what you get. So nothing else. You only get the Rezil. Now, just to give you guys an idea regarding the height, obviously this is going to be much smaller than a typical Higer Universal Century kit. Here is next to a Gundam Converge figure, which is roughly about five centimeters in height in total. So compared to with a Gundam Converge figure, it's rough. It is much taller than a typical Gundam Converge figure. So yeah. All right, so let's see what we got in terms of articulation. So we did see the the basic inner frame uh, articulation. It was pretty good, but what's the armor up? Let's see how how much it changed. And after that, we'll slap on all the other necessary parts to complete the Rezo Commander type. So the head. So once again, really looking good looking head with the ball joint. So it does go up. It does allow you to make go up and down. So no big deal. And then 360 uh, seems like it should be possible, but the backpack is kind of in the way. So no big deal there. Uh, now the backpack, nothing too special, You're, it's already clipped on and, the, and there are these ball joints that can move but that's pretty much it. Uh, I should mention there is, there's no way to transform this. Despite being a Rezel, yeah, there's no way you can transform this. For those who try the Master Grade Rezel, or at least the or the HUC Rezel should know why. <laughs> because it requires a lot of like moving parts for in order to do that. Uh, at least for HUC you have the court, you have the transformation block so that's a whole different story but still. And then uh, the arms, once again, being on uh, on joints or on ball joints, you should be able to go 360, but make sure you know your way through. Uh, going upwards, uh, it is still slightly possible, but not as much as the, the raw inner frame. And then going forward and backwards, it still exists, but it wasn't much to work with at the beginning. 
and the arm being on arms being on ball joints, you get about roughly about 90 degrees of a bend and joint there. And because of the ball joint, you do have a 360 twist on the lower arm. Now the main body, once again, there is no ab crunch because the inner frame never had one. Uh, going side to side does still exist, but not as much compared to the base raw inner frame. Now the front skirts, you can separate them if you want to do so. And the side skirts, once again, despite having those holes there or that kind of joint there, there's not much holding it. So you're just clipping it onto those joint, uh, those nubs there. So it does work, but yeah, that was my first time without actually falling out. Now the legs can go, can go about roughly 90 degrees, although I, I'm not sure if this should, should count in the first place. Going backwards, you could go, but in a, in a certain direction because the back skirt does not move. And you do have an action base uh, connecting joint there and another hole here if you want to do so. And uh, going to the side is possible. And then thanks to the ball joints, you do get a bend, about 90 degrees bend as far as I can tell. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the uh, the base result. So once again, it does have articulation. Uh, now I think what Bandai was trying to do, since the G-Frame got some popularity, they wanted to do something similar, but with a smaller scale or a smaller version. So I think that's why they made this figure. And hence the same boxed style or type where they give, they make two boxes for each mobile suit and you have to buy both of them to complete the entire thing. Uh, I mean, because Gundam Convergers, they're pretty fine, but there are some people who want more articulation on these small figures, so they had Ensemble, but Ensemble, they're getting much more expensive, and people are starting to, I'm, I'm assuming that their popularity is going down because of their increasing high price these days. So yeah, alright, so we've seen the basis, basics of the Rezo, I'll be right back with the Rezo Commando type equipment on this thing, and let's see what we got. Okay, I'm back. So here we have the Rezo Commander type. So once again, you need to get the second box and then apply all the equipment that is in the second box onto the first box. So here we have the stuff applied. So once again, there are some parts that you need to swap out. Number one is the backpack where you need to swap out the wing areas. Number two, you need to swap out the faceplate of the head. So you do need to separate the head. And number three would be the shoulders. You do need to separate the front parts and then replace them with the new parts with the green stickers. Uh, so yeah, so once again, I do like the proportions of what I'm seeing at the moment. So all the equipment are in the second box of so the beam saber, the rifle that's technically meant for the Rezo is there and the, including the beam cannon, um, uh, is also included into the Rezo commander type as well. So you can all uh, slap these on here. So once again, articulation is practically the same, but with the equipments on, there is a few tricky parts. So once again, because of the shield area that you're connecting to the lower arm here on the back side of the arm which is why it's constantly colliding with the wings. Uh, so what they do is that, uh, if I can take this out, so once again, what you can do is that they give you this joint here. So they give you this joint, you can attach this to the arm uh, onto, on the same hole that connects to the shield. If I can get it on, yeah, there we go. Then the ball joint is on the side of the arm, which makes you, allow you to connect you can, I think, you, I, I'm pretty sure you have either choices to the front or the back part. So it's really up to your preference. But let's say let's just do it on the back part. And there you go. The shield is now less colliding with the back section. So they did add that joint for a reason there. And each weapon does connect to the hand very well, very firm as well. So no big deal there. Uh, now my only question is, okay, so let me just get this arm, hat off. I'm not sure if this thing can actually hold the cannon here. Now, thanks to the gap, the cannon does go through over the whole situation here. And then, believe it or not, this thing does actually have a handle inside there that you can t use. Now the question is, really, is it, can it actually hold it properly? And the answer is, uh, technically, yes, it can actually hold it. So I think they did a really good job on this small figure. Uh, it has just the bare amount of articulation that's required to make this you know this small figure pretty fun uh the only downside i would say is the amount of stickers it could be just limited to this specific mold suit because of the white areas maybe if i tried the unicorn gundam or the sinaju who knows maybe it would have less stickers but once again because of this i'm assuming it's going to have the same amount of stickers as on the real type c as well but yeah, that is pretty much it for the review. So this was a review of the Gundam Mobility, <laughs> I mean, sorry about that, the Mobility Joint Gundam figure, the Rezel Commander Type or Slash Rezel. 
once again this is a very small figure uh, has bare amount of articulation and then it requires some uh, a good amount of stickers to make it look complete so keep that in mind this is not something you take out of the box and then you can just you know display it right away you do need to assemble it and number two you do need to buy two boxes because uh, once again one box will only give you the base unit the other equipment will be in another box so keep that in mind so if you guys got any questions or requests leave a comment below i still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out so please stay tuned until then see you guys um next time